Just last night I was playing some Helldivers and I found out something that's going to change the way I play forever. Let's get into it. I was told I should probably play some more bug missions and this is how it's going. Fighting the Terminants can be a lot of fun because for the most part all you have to do is stay out of the range of their sharp democracy hating sickles they have on all of their limbs. Seems pretty easy, right? Well, except for, you know, they sneak up behind you, or they jump crazy distances and land right at your liberty tootsies, or it's one of those flying guys, or, I mean, you get the point, right? There are a couple to watch out for, but it's a short list, right? Well, well, that list got a little bit longer if you're playing it up in the higher ranks. I'm talking about these guys. Yeah, these bile spitters, dude, these guys are just ridiculous. They're so disgusted at the humans that they throw up if they see your face just a little bit too close. That wouldn't be a problem if we had some barf bags for them, but unfortunately, you know, the plane was all out. For some reason, they feel like they need to share. And the sharing is not caring. If you've been hit one of these before, it's pretty much a one shot and you're down, or it'll just slow you down a lot if you don't get taken down. This is a pretty good move if you ask me, and I've been taken down by it a lot more than I would like to admit, but you know, things happen. Another thing about these guys is they're so fast for no reason at all. You're telling me that this guy, part of the 6,000 pound life cast, is catching up to me if I'm not running at a full sprint all the time? That's ridiculous. They make almost no noise, which is crazy considering, I mean, just look at them. They're huge. I've had these guys sneak up behind me a number of times. Which, you know, you think I would have saw that coming? Nah. Somehow these guys just sneaking below radar. It's like having a billboard trying to sneak up on you. And you just, I don't know. Maybe I should just look around more. So they got a lot of things going for them. And if you thought that was enough, they've got other attacks too. Which are just, mm, they're just, they're great, right? It's great. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good. It's good. Armor? Gosh dang. When you're in the lower ranks, they don't got much. But in the upper ranks, they get armor all over their back. And pretty much the only way you can shoot them is like right in their mouth or if you get along their sides or maybe they've got light armor on their legs, but not like the front of the legs, like the inner parts, you know, you know, the guy. And unfortunately, this stuff really just stops your bullets. It's crazy. It's like they have armor because they don't want some of this great old liberty that we're spreading around. You mean to tell me these bugs don't want some of my liberty? But these guys, if you're getting up past level 5 or so, they just really turn into bullet eaters. They have armor for days. You can mag dump into their face, but they'll still be hungry for more. Now, before we got guys in the comments showing up like, Oh, why don't you just use this gun? You can just hit them a couple of times. Yeah, well, I'd like to have guns that sort of like hit a wide range of bugs instead of just a specific gun just to take out biospears. Using the slugger on a swarm of hunters really isn't going to slow them down enough for me to get away. So I feel like I'd like to use a gun that's pretty okay on a lot of things. Just a quick note, if you've been enjoying this video, please like and subscribe so you can see more future content. I feel like I was going somewhere with that, but oh yeah, that's right. You know what I love on the battlefield? You know what's just absolutely fantastic? Artillery. Freaking love that stuff. You know what I really hate being on the receiving end of on the battlefield? Artillery. More accurately, bug artillery. Did you guys know that these guys have mortars now? Yeah. They could be hitting you from a long distance off. Imagine it's just coming down like, well, just like a mortar barrage. Yeah, you know, mortars like the mortars that we use that I honestly get killed almost as much as the bugs do when we set them up. So yeah, on top of everything, they've got mortars. And that attack right there is like really just going to change how I play this game. It's no longer going to be like, oh, there's a bio spiller. I'll, I'll get to him. It's like, I'm going to get these guys because being taken out from long range is not fun. Having just like a, a horde of them shoot just a huge barrage over to you is ridiculous. So yeah, these guys are really just getting to the top of my list of pain in my backside. And I'll definitely be hunting them down a lot more. Like these guys are getting up to like 100 levels of annoying. If you've had a hellish experience with these guys, feel free to leave a comment on it. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. To get some more tips on Helldivers, go ahead and watch this video.